Now to developing news tonight, though violent crime was down across the Palmetto State last year, new data released by the South Carolina law enforcement shows some troubling trends right here in the Midlands. These details coming from SLED's 2023 crime report, which was released last week. Our Nick Neville, live for us on the story here in studio. And Nick, I understand that despite violent crime being up in Orangeburg, the mother whose son was shot and killed says it's really only strengthened her resolve in all of this. Right, really remarkable story. So Courtney Hunter says that she lost her son Winston and the solicitor called this a senseless act of gun violence back in 2022. According to her, doesn't have to be this way and she's not going to stop fighting until young people put down the guns. SLED's latest crime report outlines that violent crime was most prevalent in Orangeburg County statewide last year with about 143 crimes per 100,000 people. This is the county had the second highest violent crime rate in 2022. That's when Courtney Hunter's life changed forever, when her six-year-old son Winston was killed in a drive-by shooting in a small Orangeburg County town. That pain drives me. That pain gives me a purpose. So I will continue to fight. Just because it's happening don't mean that it needs to stop. We just, that just means we're going to fight harder. We just, just know that we're going to push harder. Data shows the murder rate statewide was down, but murder arrests were up in Orangeburg, which saw its arrests more than double. Richland County saw a 32% increase in murder and non-negligent manslaughter arrests, while Sumter County saw a 20% decrease. Hunter says these numbers don't discourage her. Yes, the numbers may double, but that's just going to make me do fight double. That's going to make me move double. That's going to make me get out to double houses. Maybe I, if, if, I'm in the, if I do one event... Once a week, I may need to bump it up to two events, you know, do two events twice a week. It just makes me want to fight harder to get the word out there to bring the awareness to gun violence. DUI arrests, though up in Richland and Sumter County and more than doubling in Orangeburg County, a sign to Mothers Against Drunk Driving that agencies are allocating resources in a way that could save lives. When I see arrests going up, I say, great, we're starting to actually do something to try to make a difference because the more drunk drivers we get off the road, hopefully the fewer crashes and fatalities we're going to have down the line. And the data in SLED's report is compiled from incident reports submitted monthly by state and local law enforcement agencies. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott says that the report reinforces that young people with guns continues to be a major problem, not just for law enforcement, but for the entire community. Well, I'm in the studio, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, thanks so much. And that report also detailed that weapons violations were up for the 10th year in a row. SLED Chief Mark Keel says that trend is going up at a rapid pace.